giving honors to Pastor Reed. Um, we want to, I'm here to welcome each and every one of you tonight. We welcome Great Mount Zion. We welcome Church. Family Christians, and we welcome Faith Chapel. We welcome um, Thomas Crowds. We welcome Belmont. We welcome everybody in here tonight to enjoy the service, get into the service, become a part of the service, get out of what this service has for you tonight. This is our youth jam, and we want to, if we want our youth to get involved. It's for everybody, but we want, especially our youth, to get involved. Tonight. So we have our we have our pastor and our lady um, in front of the room. We welcome you here to St. Matthew tonight. Stay in worship. Amen. Can everybody stand on their feet once again? Amen. Just stay right there if you don't mind. Come forward to God. Let's worship in this place. Let's invite his presence in. Come on, open up your mouth. Right here. Let's invite his presence in. Hallelujah, God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's invite his presence in. Come on, let's lift our hands. Let's lift up our mouths. going to lead you there to his presence. He's going to take you to the throne of God. Amen. We
This is a song I love.
gospel. So grateful for Dr. Myers, Pastor Wayne Myers being with us and his lovely wife. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you being out tonight. Last night I was finishing in Elizabethtown and the subject that the Lord dropped in my spirit is are you ready for what's next? Amen. And I have a question for you. Are you ready for what God is about to do in your life next? Amen. God glory and let's use what we have to the glory of God. Amen. Thank you. Now, I'm going to call on a song of selection from the Faith Chapel Choir. Amen. Amen. Everything that happened to me that was good 
Thank God for being here. Um, all right. I'm chasing after you, no matter what.
Can you feel I'm moving? Can you feel I'm moving? Can you feel I'm moving? Oh yeah. Can you feel I'm moving? Can you feel I'm moving?
Read. I mean, she killed us then. Let me, come on, baby. Can you read this for me? Can, what, with no mic? We be double teaming the devil. Oh, you ready? Second Timothy, chapter three, verse one. Read it, baby. This know also my God, my God. that in the last days perilous times shall come. Jesus. Mm -hmm. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Mm -hmm. Music. 
And God said to me, you're going to choose tonight. Trusted me with 
them that showed me how to do everything against the will of God for my life. And what happens is you'll get around somebody that's supposed to be seasoned and they'll introduce you to stuff that you don't have no business dealing with because you don't have, you don't have spiritual access to. And now you're dealing with something you can't handle and you don't know how to get out. tell these young men when they struggle with their, with their manhood, I said, listen, nobody's beating you. That's right. Nobody's beating you because some of these young men have been touched and abused, yes. and the only feeling that they understand is from another man because it's the first experience that they know. That's too heavy for you. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. Go because I ain't preaching no cracker jack message to make you jump. Right. You already been shot. And what's happening is that we ain't getting enough of this. That's why you think you can sing and shout and get away with your mess, but God is coming for you tonight. Because I can tell the prophet in me can tell some of y'all nervous already. I'm not gonna look at y'all, but just look in the ceiling. steals a lot of cars, do you know what they do? They go get a form of coffee. Uh, see, you go get getting somebody with a four-year degree. No, they go get baby out of the ghetto. Because he know how to think like a thief, preacher. He, he know what a thief's going to do. That's why God got me, because I got your number. Let me tell you something, I ain't so wonderful because if God don't keep me tomorrow, I'll fall. I don't have no help in here. He got to keep my mind. I go out of town and I preach and I call my wife and I said, baby, I just feel, I don't feel right. I feel something attacking me. I said, talk to me. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Oh, no, I ain't that deep. I ain't that Come on in here. Because you got to be real with yourself, woman of God, and you got to say there's some stuff that I was into, and if I don't keep my spirit, if I don't keep my spirit right, y'all trying to act so deep. If somebody rub you the wrong way, it's all God that you don't cuss somebody out. It's, it's all God you don't slap somebody down. Some of y'all this week almost hurt somebody. If God didn't do it. Crossed you wrong this week. They would have got it if God wasn't with you. Lord, help me. I feel like running right there. They, somebody cut you off in the street, and if God didn't rise up in you, we got somebody say he's teaching hard tonight. Uh -huh. The new moons and Sabbaths, 
in front of y'all right now and said, all this time, when you worship me, I've had my eyes closed to you. You know why? Because you messy. And you know what? No, no. You can make mistakes. You can make mistakes. But see, I'm talking to the ones that you make mistakes and you still think you can get away with it and you still come up in here like your stuff is good and you doing it big. God is saying, listen, if you want me to open my eyes to you, I need to see some brokenness in your spirit. Jesus. 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 Jesus.
He says, he says, he says, you look real clean. He said, you look like whitewashed stones. It looks like, it looks like everything is polished about you. Because now most of us come to church like we're going to help somebody else. And we come to church to see who needs us. Not to see if we need God. I don't have no help in here tonight. I, I need somebody praying. We come like we got it together. He calls them hypocrite. That's right. Which comes from the word hypocrisy. That's right. And the definition of hypocrisy is to act like you agree with what's going on. All right. But inwardly in your heart, you despise the process. Oh. I gotta say that. I'm trying to teach you something here. You make yourself look like you in agreement. Pastor, that was a word. I mean, I heard you preach, but my God. You did that for me today. Uh, I'm changed. Now, um, I'm still in that position, right? <laughs> then you go out with your dirty self. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ooh, woman of God. God is on you today. I can see God all over you. Want to develop to the level 
where everything that embellishes ministry will be pure. Yes. So what we're doing now, we don't have music, we play some worship music, and we get into the word. Because folk, most folk only show up for hype. And I told the Lord, if I get two that show up for real, I'm going to wear that two out. Huh? I'm going to show up. I'm going to be faithful. I told him I don't care if nobody show up. I got my wife and my kids. I'll preach them and I'll preach the wall. Because if nobody go to heaven, I'm going to make sure my kids go. All my kids got the Holy Ghost. I tell them, I don't tell y'all nothing. I tell my own kids. Jesus. It's holiness or hell. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, you got teachers living alternative lifestyles in school telling you it's all right. You didn't come from no dog on eight. All right. You came from the mind of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right now, the mind is going crazy. I want to get real with y'all. I got a few more minutes. Ain't nobody gonna say I kept you all night. I want to get real. If y'all would just give me about five minutes of you being real. Five minutes of you being real. I want you to think about it. Because I'm gonna tell you what's happening right now. The things that you're not doing, the Holy Ghost is convicting you, and it's coming up in front of you. All the stuff you know you ain't got no business doing, it should be coming up right now. That's God's love for you. Because what the devil meant for your evil, God determined it's already for you. for this to happen. He already, it's already preconceived in his mind before he was in your mother's womb. Yes. And tonight, 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 this doesn't have to be a long process, but I want to challenge you. Yes. Young and old. Yes. I had a lady one time was doing revival. She had to be about 80. She just, I said, you, you all right, mother? I said, ain't you going to pray, mother? She said, yeah, but I, I got some stuff I still need to work on. Oh Got a show in on heaven, you ain't got no guarantee. You can be 50 with a bad attitude. Amen. Amen. I never know why folk that's so mean want to be in charge of the hospitality community. Come on, mean folk representing the church. Pastor can't even preach because they got an attitude from how you they come in. Praise the Lord. You like sit there. You know, made them move three times. I don't have no help in here. Come on. We got some real issues. And I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna challenge you, young people and older like. I'm gonna challenge you. I don't care what your calling is. I don't care what position you have. You don't want God. You don't want God to close his eyes on you. That's right. Because the night with this word, see, that's what I love. I use the word so you don't say Pastor Mighty did it. Because right. it's not my glory. That's Amen. Right. Amen. There's too many preachers looking for their glory. Yes. This is God's glory. God. And that's when you see his demonstration. Hey, 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 hey. Who is willing to step out here and meet me in prayer and say, it's me. I got some issues. I got some stuff. I let God down. Can you pray with me? I need to get delivered. Come on right now. Give me the person that's there. If, no, if you ain't got no problems, you can stay in your seat. You good? You stay. You good? You stay. Just line up. Just line up. Get in where you fit in. You good? You cool. We good.
You ain't got no situation? Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm good, yeah. I need the pastor. So can you help me? Whoever's a minister is here. Come on, you good? Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, unfold your arms. I don't want y'all to listen. I don't have time to waste time. Y'all got me some real about this. Close those eyes. Hi. 